Beyonce Fit Queens. How y'all doing today? Today is Sassy Abs and Core Day. Are y'all ready? We in February, so I know y'all killed the January abs and core workout. So we got something new in store for you all today. So of course, you know, we always start with a stretch. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we're gonna lean forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Open your legs. Woo! We're gonna reach as far forward as we can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. Ooh, did that feel good or what? All right, so now we're going to bring our legs up. Elbow slightly in. Push, lean forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. Now we're gonna bring our feet in. And I know that this, I haven't mastered this either, okay? But we're working on flexibility. So we're stretching this inner part of our thigh. We're gonna bring our feet up and we're gonna attempt as we bring our feet up to lay our knees flat. Over time with practice, eventually your knees will touch the ground. As you can see, I'm not there yet. But either way, let's stretch. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Leave one leg in and reach across. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Switch. Do the same thing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Whew, that felt amazing. Take one leg over and twist. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax and switch. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Woo! All right, loosen up. Roll your shoulders forward. Loosen up any tension you may have. And then roll it backwards. Then we're gonna take one arm across. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Shake it off and switch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it off. Last but not least, we're going to bring our arms over our shoulders. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Shake it off. Switch it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. Woo, all right. So I hope you're all listened up because we're about to do our dance cardio warm up. Y'all ready? All right, let's do it. All right, so this dance cardio warm-up is, the name of the song is called Control. Now, when you think of control with this song, you're gonna control your core. I know we're being all cute and stuff, rolling our hips and stuff like that. Roll, but you're gonna be squeezing your core while you're rolling it. Trust me, you'll feel it if you're squeezing it right. And then there are gonna be portions where I say heels to the front and toes to the back. And then when I say four count turn, one, two, three, four, back, two, three and four. Then I'm gonna say pull, pull, pull the rope. This is how you pull the rope and act like that rock star. Hey, all right, y'all? Let's get right into it. Let's kill it. Hey, hey. 
have fun with it. Walk four, heels, hey, toes back, heels to the front, toes back, all right, four counts, let's turn, one, two, three, four, and back, woo, again, go, and back, all right, control that four, get it, get it, get it, get it, control, hey, squeeze that core real good, hey, hey, get it, So what we're going to do for the first abs and core workout is called leg lifts and bicycle crunch. Now you have the option to do it with or without weights. The first rep I typically do without weights for the leg lifts and then I also will incorporate weights for the second one. If you have dumbbells, you can use a dumbbell, you can grip a bottle or if you have a pair of ankle weights that works just as well if not better. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to demonstrate it with weights, leg lifts that is. So what I do is I wrap my foot around the dumbbell. Remember, I'm going to do the first exercise rep with you. So I'm going to have to control this to lift it. So you're going to put your hands under your butt and you're going to lift one, two, head up. Ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Drop the weight. Woo! Again, remember you have the option to do it without the weight and with ankle weights. The weight just adds a little bit more um, resistance. Now, with the bicycles crunches, you're gonna be laying like this, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Woo! And we're gonna do three rounds of those. That was just round one. So guess what? It's y'all's turn to finish the last two. So pause the video if you need to, or play it back a couple times. Whatever suits you best, go ahead and kill that workout. Y'all got this. All right, I hope y'all killed that last workout. I know you did. So this next workout, we're gonna be doing a dumbbell basket twist, and we're gonna be doing a standard plank. So the basket twist, I don't know if you notice this is in the weight. I got a little bit of a heavier weight, but again, you do what suits you best. So with this one, you're gonna lean slightly backwards and you're gonna twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Drop the weight. Okay. Now we're going to get into our standard plank. We're going to do 24 seconds of these, counting backwards. You have the option to do it in push up position. You want to make sure your back is straight, not like this and not like this. Push up position, everything leveled, or a more challenging position, the one that I like. Same thing, not like this. Not like this. So you're gonna hold it for 24 seconds. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a break. I know that you stretch like this after that, and then you get back into it because guess what? You got two more rounds of that. So y'all know what to do. Play it back or press pause and do the bag on phone. Let's kill it. So I took it to the street this time doing something a little different. So give you guys a little bit of a different scenery, different options let you know you can do these workouts anywhere. So the next workout, I know y'all kept that last one, and this y'all did. So this is we're gonna be doing leg threads, and then we're gonna be doing jumping jacks. So with the leg thread, it kinda looks like a mountain climber, but not quite. So you're gonna be down on the ground, like so, and you're just gonna thread your legs in and out. So one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. Woo, that was round one of that. That was a worker right there. So you're gonna jump right into your jumping jack. You're gonna do twenty-four. One, two, three, four. Woo! All right, so that was round one. Y'all go ahead and do round two and three. I don't know what to do. Let's get into it. All right, how'd y'all do on that last workout? I know you killed it. All right, so this next one is what we call V-ups, and then we're gonna do flutter kicks. So V-ups, you're gonna lay down, you're gonna have a weight, dumbbell, water bottle, whatever works for you. You're gonna bring it behind your head, and you're gonna bring your feet up into a V at the same time. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, make sure you breathe. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. 
Then you just drop the weight, right? You're gonna put your hand right up under your butt. Bring your feet out. Lift that head up and kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Woo! Take your breath a little bit. Come on up. Take a little breath. And then guess what? You're going to get right back into it by grabbing that weight right there. Y'all got this. Two more rounds to go. Let's kill it. All right, we back out in the street. We're going to do this doggone thing. So again, we're doing suicides and we're just going to do halfway back to the end and back and for 12 counts. You don't count until you reach the end. If by chance you're at home, that's completely fine. You can do something in place. You can do high knees. You can do something for cardio. But if you wanna take it outside, take it in your backyard, even if you are at home, you can take it in your backyard and do it. There's really no excuse. So let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna start. And when you hear me count, that's when we go. I'm gonna do the first one. a good way to end the workout. Make sure you walk around, catch your breath, cool off, get you another stretch in, hydrate. It's very important. Drink some water. All right, ladies. All right, so as soon as you catch your breath, you got some girlfriends around, y'all go ahead and do that chin. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, my workout done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, my work I done. You see the sweat on my face. Girl, I did my thing. What? With Team Sassy Fitness. Hey, Team Sassy Fitness. Woo! Till tomorrow. Hope y'all kill me. Have a great one. Let's kill it.